Hello world, welcome to the 68th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. In this video, we're going to be building a graphical user interface or a console um, for a Twitter app using a Python library called tkinter. Uh, while I'd like my digital assistant Shane to intuitively know what to do based off the programming, or just follow my voice recognition, I imagine I'll need some sort of consoles or GUI to interact with Shane. But the real reason why I'm doing this is because a friend asked me if I'd be interested in building a Twitter app for his business um, after I posted on my personal Facebook saying I hit a thousand followers on Twitter using only my Twitter automation and without ever logging into Twitter. So I had some concerns because I just run it through PyCharm on my console. And so I'll leave a link in the description so you can watch my Twitter playlist. But I want all of that be all of my social media management to be handled by Shane. And I don't really want to tell Shane what to do. I just want it to know what to do. But I will need some sort of console to interact. So this will be my attempt. And I'll be using a library that comes with Python called tkinter. And you don't need to pip install it. And uh, we'll also be using some of my Twitter functions from my playlist. So I'll leave a link in the description to that playlist. Make sure you watch it so you can see. And also please follow me on Twitter at bjone6, bjone6. All right, so let's take a look at my progress and see what we've done on the first video of this tkinter playlist. So we're going to run this console test. All right, and then a this is what it is so far. I'll work on building this size better, but I like to build all the functions first. So first we'll test these two buttons. All right. So it says I still need to program the follow actions. And let's look at some trending topics. All right, still need to program the the trends actions. All right, now let's run a program that we do have coded called unfollow people. So let's click that. And if you've seen my Twitter playlist, make sure you watch that. The link is in the description. But you'll see that I am unfollowing all the people who haven't followed me. All right, so I followed people. They have not followed me back, so we just unfollowed them. That way you keep a pretty balanced Twitter, which I think is important, or until you become popular enough where you have way more followers than what you're following. All right, so lastly, let's. Uh, we can also open Twitter up from clicking on that link at the top. Here you go. 1,010 followers. Except for code testing, I never really log into Twitter. It's been all automated. All right, so that's pretty much it. So let's take a look at the code. And if this is the first time on my channel, I'm not a tutorial series, but we do go through the code together. So like I said, you don't need to pip install tkinter. It comes as a library. So from tkinter, import it all. That's what asterisk means. And then from my P Twitter automation playlist, we're going to import this unfollow function. And then we're also going to import web browser, which is also a default library. So the first thing you can do is you can create your own functions which is what we've done here, or you can import other functions. So the first one we did was we're going to open up Twitter. The next one you saw was when I clicked the follow button. I still have to program it. For now, we just printed uh, program the following actions. Same with trends. We just put a print so you can see it. All right. So this is where you would put your own functions of what kind of tkinter app you're trying to build. Then you're going to call root equals capital tk in parentheses. Then we're going to build a frame. So frame equals capital F frame. And then you're going to pass it the root, which we just established here. 
and then you're going to call it frame.pack and what this means is you're going to pack it into the frame so you're going to that's how you tell the um, how you want it you just want to pack it in there you could also use the dot grid if you're trying to make a excel version of a uh, an app where everything's lined up so then we're going to create a label so I created my the title text equals label you're gonna pass it the frame which we established here then you're gonna put the test the text in there Twitter automation controls I want the font or I mean the background to be blue and the foreground or the font to be white so let's check that out okay so background is blue font is white and this is just a label it's not a clickable button however you saw me click on it to open Twitter so the next thing we're gonna do is gonna pack it and we're gonna fill it with capital X what that means is no matter how see it fills up to the max amount so if I only had two buttons it would only be this tall or this wide with X and then nothing happens as you can see when I go down but when I move it left to right it follows it It's because it's to the X axis it follows it because that's how I filled it alright and then you can bind functions so this is not a clickable button but what we did was we binded or bound a button that passes this callback so this is one way of adding function to your console and that callback is here and when we clicked on it clicked on this button then we opened up Twitter okay next we actually have three buttons so same thing capital B for button we pass it the frame you pass it the text foreground was blue so that's blue text I use the default white of the button and then we pass it the command equals follow actions which is here so this is the second way you can attach commands to it and all it did was printed um, program the follow actions same with this trending topics everything's the same and you see how we pass the dot pack side equals left and what that means is the very first one because all um, programming goes in order the very first one to the left we want follow people and then to the left of that we want this trending button this trends button to the left of that we want this unfollow button all right so they all look pretty much the same except for the variable then you pack them side left and then this time I passed it command equals unfollow and you don't see that up here and what that was was from my Twitter or tweet that's what I called the file I want to import the unfollow command all right so when I build this this follow actions we are going to pass it the follow but I want it to display different that's why we didn't do it here and then once you've created your very first thing you're just gonna put root dot main loop and what that does is it just keeps it open all right so if I press follow people okay it just prints that and then it loops back I can keep on pressing it can keep on pressing this if I wanted to that's pretty much it so you know we'll do a lot more and like I said we'll run it one more time this is small we would make it much bigger but what I want to do is add all the functions that I want first and then I'll worry about size and format alright so this is just the first video in the playlist I hope you enjoyed it please remember to subscribe to my channel like this video and share with others thanks goodbye world